Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mort Power here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day and today I'm just going to be vlogging for you. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm doing. Um, actually, I'm in the midst of recording, actually editing some um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay for you guys. Actually, by the time this will go up, this would have gone up on Thursday. I don't know what day this video is going to go up on, but... Today, the ultimate goal is actually to go out and find a Moltres raid um, in Pokemon Go because I didn't get to, to get Articuno. Maybe we can do a Lugia today as well. I'm not sure what I want to do, but uh, hopefully we can go and um, find a Moltres raid. I'm going to finish up editing this video, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sitting here at Chipotle eating a burrito. Uh, we just failed that raid. And I just want to talk to you guys about some things that I think are coming to Pokemon Go here in the near future. Um, I think the biggest thing that's coming to Pokemon Go next after we see all the raids and stuff go away is, let me readjust this camera a little bit, is Gen 3. I think Gen 3 is going to come out within the next month at the latest end of August, early September, uh, so save up those candies, save up um, those evolutions that you gotta do, um, so that once Gen 3 comes around, I'll be doing a video on some Gen 2 Pokemon and Gen 1 Pokemon that evolve again in Gen 3, so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna eat, and then hopefully go try to find another raid, just a quick video for you guys today, and I'll see you guys later. So we got we got the win. Got the, we got a fast team. Finally got nine more rare candies. All right. So we're gonna try to catch this thing. Oh man. Hey, congrats, Team Instinct, on that. All right. Try to catch this thing. Missed the last one. Shoot. We just beat it. Oh, you guys. Yeah, we just beat it. There's another one off um, Kernan. Oh, this thing's gonna be difficult. There we go. Finally got a nice throw on it. One, two. No, and I forgot to use the golden razz on it that time. It's 1839 CP. Oh, that was awful. No. Okay, shoot. Okay, I didn't get the great throw on it. Come on. Really? Three more Pokeballs. Or Premier Balls. Just practically the same thing. That should have hit it. No, and I'm going to miss this one too. I got to be serious. There we go, got it. Please let me get it on this last one.
There's one more thing. Um, actually, two more things that I think are going to come in the near future. Um, Lugia is still spawning or in raids, uh, along with the legendary birds that are going to are that are going to cycle over the next uh, couple of weeks. But um, the other bird counterpart to Lugia that hasn't shown up yet is Ho-Oh. Now, there's been several reports that Ho-Oh will actually indeed uh, start appearing in legendary raids. Um, around the same time as the Pikachu outbreak in Yokohama, Japan in late August. Um, it lines up, um, they did, you know, that's the next big event Niantic's got on the horizon. They released Lugia when we got Pokemon Go Fest, um, and then now they're, they could release Uh oh with, um, with the Pikachu outbreak in Yokohama, Japan, because that is a big event that they put on every year, and they could incorporate Pokemon Go into it um, and then along with Gen 3 will probably come out right after um, Ho-Oh and them finally just go away for a while and then the last I believe big update for the for the winter fall part of the year I think is going to be PvP um, it could either be you know um, player versus player where we get to go out and actually battle people which I would think would be really good and it would actually increase the longevity of the game um, but also trading uh, because what would be great is you say you missed Moltres or you missed Zapdos or you missed Articuno or you missed any of the other legendary Pokemon and they introduce trading you can trade with people that may not have those Pokemon that you have and vice versa so I think trading after the legendaries and stuff go away will be great for keeping player player retention and other um, various aspects of Pokemon Go. I know breeding has been talked about. I don't think that's going to be happening for a while because they have to introduce natures and things like that. It's going to take a while for breeding, but I know trading and PvP, uh, they could roll out within the next six to seven months. But actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to go hang out with a friend that I haven't seen in years that's down in town. Um, but that's going to be it for the vlog. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, enjoyed seeing me fail on getting that Moltres. Actually, I failed twice. You didn't see the first one. But I failed twice on uh, Moltres today. And, uh, yeah. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section um, what other kind of vlog stuff you want to see me do. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. And as always, I'll see y'all later.